gentleman working as a moderator in our forum in the TSP community, and uh, we called him Heavy G on the forums. And he emails me one day and says, if I write a book, can I come be on the show and get interviewed? And I said, well, sure, but like after you write the book, let me know because I hear from people all the time saying they're going to do things. And you know, a while later, he comes back. He says, I've actually got a publisher now, and I've got the books ready to go. And I said, books? He said, yeah, there's going to be 10 or 12 of these things. When I started reading book one, I'd spent, I had already spent some time in Olympia and had worked in local government lobbying. There's corruption. There's the deals that are cut. There's taking action and active, the things you do strictly for political purposes, not out of principle. Book one really captured all of that. And I was, I was thinking to myself as I, as I was reading it, geez, whoever wrote this book, I mean, had spent time here, had understands how Olympia works. Glenn Tate does a tremendous job of getting inside the human psyche and actually putting it on the pages for you to read about how people actually react and act in a crisis. What I love about 299 Days is it's, it's written by somebody that sees the inner uh, underbelly of the government and, and sees this can't go on forever. I absolutely think people should read this series. It's number one, pure entertainment value. It's a great book. It's, it's entertaining read. But it also provides, without overtly being out in your face, this introduction to prepping. This introduction to the power goes out. What do I need for 72 hours? What do I need for a week? What do I need for a month? And it, 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 starts, down, it starts you down the path of, am I ready? And can I, number one, protect my family, but number two, provide for them? We need to get Americans thinking about the key questions. Are we ready? Are we prepared? Are we willing? to stand for freedom. What are we willing to sacrifice for freedom and liberty? What I love about 299 Days is it's, it's written by somebody that's really kind of a government insider, somebody that sees the inner uh, underbelly of the government and, and sees what the people doing the damage to our country actually think about the damage they're doing, which is pretty much this, this can't go on forever. The, the other thing I like about it is it goes into the concept of a partial collapse. Uh, parts of the government function, parts don't. Parts of the country function, parts don't. This is much more in line with what we've seen in actual collapses in places like Argentina and Russia, or what we've seen in the world where we've had warfare, like in Bosnia. Uh, th this is These are very real scenarios. Sooner or later, we're going to have a reckoning with this. And the lessons in 299 days, I believe, are going to save lives. My name is Glenn Tate. I wrote a 10 book novel series about prepping called 299 Days. I can't tell you what my real name is because I have a job that allows me to witness things in government that are troubling. 299 Days is a story about a regular guy in government who sees things going wrong and realizes he needs to do something to take care of his family. For those of you who've read the books, you know about the team. People always ask me, are these guys real? I'm Pow. Um... I'm the six foot Korean. Well, my name's Scotty. I'm the nondescript white man. My name's Bobby uh, in the book. And my real name is Bobby because Glenn's super creative. I met Glenn uh, in a local gun shop. I noticed that he was smart. Uh, he's one of those 100 pound brain guys. Well, the first time I read the books, uh, Glenn brought them to me and I stayed awake for two days, almost solidly reading, reading those books. The story has been uh, fantastic. The books have gotten a fantastic following you know the book is not just there to for entertainment but i think it's it's a, it's a great uh, reference it's, it's a frame of reference it's something that can kind of guide you and open your mind and uh you know plant those seeds that that you know can grow into ideas to better yourself better your community better your family the response to these books has been overwhelming we've sold over seventy thousand copies of them i can't tell you how much i appreciate your support for the books we need to take this to the next level. So, you know, I, I had, I'd heard from, uh, from the author, and he says, I've got somebody that wants to, uh, to make this into a mini series or a movie or something like that. And I'm like, man, be careful, because I don't trust Hollywood types at all. He says, no, this guy's a listener. He's part of the community. And I'm like, well, if that's the case, and if that's real, and if he wants to stay true to the story, tell me what I can do to help you. This is a topic that the liberals in Hollywood don't want to talk about. So we have to come to you, the community, to fund this effort. And when I say community, I'm talking about patriots, preppers, libertarians, Second Amendment supporters, anyone who doesn't like the direction this country's going in. There, there are going to be things in the movie that 
it, it, when you read a book, you picture it in your mind and you try to illustrate the scenario, the situation, you know, the characters go through, but it doesn't capture the emotion. In a movie, we can capture that emotion and we can show you and it's, it's there on screen. Fans, readers, we need your help. This movie is a wake up call. Hollywood's not gonna produce this. The Patriot community has to come together to make this happen. 299 days. Man, it's a story that needs to be told, and it needs to be told by somebody on the inside. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to this project. I'm looking forward to this movie. Those who have read the books are going to really love the rewards. There are things in here that you just can't get anywhere else. So you can get your name mentioned in the movie, and you can even have your name as a character in the final book that's coming out in November. You'll have the opportunity to come out to the cabin where the story took place, train with the team, and meet Jack Spearco. People that make a sincere contribution to this, I'm going to make sure that they get a chance to meet with me, with members of the uh, the cast, with, with the author himself. We're going to do some really cool things, some really cool events. In fact, there might even be the opportunity for some of you guys that really support at kind of a, a higher level to even come out and hang out at my uh, at my little retreat. The experience, I think, will be very cool for somebody that is interested in meeting the team and seeing that the team is actually real. I th it's a great experience for us, you know, the experiences we have had, interactions with our fans coming out and training with us and having a good time. Uh, it's been a blast for us, you know, just personally, it's been a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing 299 Days made into a movie. As a matter of fact, I've grown a beard in hopes of trying out for Special Forces Ted. I'm in book seven, but my real heart's desire is to play Snelling in the movie. I am so behind this project. I'm so into this book series. I'm so into this message that I've agreed to be in the movie. So what I'm seeing now is that 299 Days has become an extension of an existing family. Uh, it's being produced by a member of our community. It was written by a member of our community. Our community is featured in the book. Uh, people that we have genuine relationships, like Oath Keepers, that are part of this community are in the book. And what we're hoping is that our community will band together to help fund this. People talk all the time about how, well, Hollywood does this with something and destroys the message and, and, and does all of these things that are untrue to the author's intent. Well, there's a reason. They're the ones with the money. If we want control of this, then we have to take control of this. And the way we do that is financially. If we can fund this production, we can keep it true to the message that Glenn put into it, and we can make prepping look like what it is, common sense. I'm not a pussy. I'm willing to show my true identity. <laughs> not I, like I, this freaking mincer over here. He's <laughs> a freaking like, tosser. Look at him. Look at this tosser. What? Get down here where he can see you. What? It's a freaking tosser. I'm not hiding my identity. You're on drugs. Freaking mincers. <laughs> that was great. I think we're done.